you know, people be testing. People be testing. your girl queen d here and i am back with another video it is wednesday wednesday so you know what that means i'm coming to you with a little bit of advice some tips from my life to yours you know just some words of wisdom some happy thoughts some things for you to think about you know take with you through the rest of the week or through life period <clears throat> before we get into wednesday wednesday if you are new here welcome hello my name is queen d Royal Film is what I call my subscribers, my family, my supporters. So if you would like to be a part of the Royal Film, because I would like you to be, please make sure you hit that subscribe button that's down below. And hit that bell too, because sometimes YouTube be playing. They don't want to let you know what I post, but it doesn't hurt to have it clicked and the notifications turned on. And as always, don't forget to follow me on my social media. It's always in the front of the video, in the back of the video, and down below in the description, as well as on the screen right here. So make sure you follow me. Um, I follow back. I respond to DM messages. If you DM me about video things or you just got some nice words to say, I'm going to respond. Um, and if you're not new to the Royal Fam and you're already a part, how you doing? How you been? I hope life is treating you well. We in May now. We are halfway through. You know, act up season is here and in full effect. So come on, let's act up. <laughs> But yes, we about to get into this was on Wednesday. Today I am talking about how to keep calm and keep your composure and keep from popping off on people because you know people be testing. People be testing. But this was actually requested um by a subscriber. So hey girl, I hope you enjoyed this video. But we about to get into it. So if you're interested in hearing what I have to say about keeping from popping off on people, then keep on watching. Hey, hey, keep Oh, what? Okay, y'all. So, we all done been there. We all done been there. People like to try us. People like to test us. People like to get us there. People like to get us out of our element. You know, people like to take us to places we don't want to be, right? But as women, as young adults, as adults, as humans, period, uh, but especially as women, we don't we don't need to let people see us go there. And not everybody deserves to get that kind of attention. Like, people get, you know, get a kick out of seeing you get mad, seeing you get angry, seeing you go off, seeing you pop your top. People like that. People get a kick, of that, kick out of that because they're like, oh, I know how to push your buttons to get you to do things to come out of your body, to come out of element, right? But, no. Mm -mm. Not every the situation deserves a reaction. Not every person is worthy. Yeah, I said it. It's worthy of getting a reaction out of you. Of getting you to to come and be somebody that you're not normally. We all got a side. We all got a crazy side. We all got a side where if somebody take us there, we'll go there. But it's got to be something that's not easily, easily pushed to, you know? Like, I know, personally for me, it takes quite a bit for me to actually get to the point where I'm ready to fight. Like, you can do all that talking all you want and all of that. That don't bother me. But it just, it's only so much a person can take, right? But, like I said, it doesn't, it doesn't, it takes a lot for me to get there to the point where I'm ready to fight somebody. Like, of course, if my friends is about to fight, I'm going to have their back. If somebody coming at my friends and my family reckless, I'm going to have their back. And I'm going to have y'all back and I'm going to defend y'all and stuff. But when it comes to me personally, if somebody's trying to get, if somebody's trying to take me there, they're going to have to do a lot to get me there because... I feel like, not like I said, not everybody deserves a reaction. And to get a reaction out of me, you got to be really special or do something really stupid. But, yeah. And being that I'm a Gemini, like, I do, I do get mad easily or easier than others. But I'm not going to be, I'm not about to come out of my body and say, okay, you know what? Let's fight. No. Because fighting is never the answer in my eyes. Like, fighting don't do nothing but make the other person matter. It might make you happy if, if you win in for the moment, but at the end of the day, that person going to want revenge. That person going to do whatever they can to feel like they want, right? So, what can we do when somebody's trying us and we're not really even trying to go there? Like, I feel like when somebody's trying you, they just want, they, they, they either want something you have, 
they just don't like you for whatever reason. Maybe I have beef or, or they just, just, you know, people really don't need reason not to like you because people just be hating for no reason. So they either want something you had, they like you. Because people do that. When they like you, they be trying to start stuff. Or they just, you know, they just hate for no reason. So if somebody's trying you and, you know, you feel yourself or you're just like, I'm over this person, these are the things that you can do. And they on my phone because I had to make a list. So first off, um, don't take things personally. Now, I know that's easier said than done, but a lot of the times, people just be talking. Honestly, people just be talking me, running their mouth about this and that, and it don't even really pertain to you. You know, like on Twitter, people be tweeting things, subliminal messages and subtweeting and stuff. Don't take that personal. Because if a person can't come to you directly, they're not worth it. Period. If a person's not willing to come to you directly, to your face, or text you, or call you, and tell you, like, look, this is how I'm feeling about you. I'm not really messing with you right now. Then they're not worth you, you know, giving them the time of the day to go off on them. To tell them, you know what, I'm about to put my hands on you because you got me messed up. They're not worth it. Like, a person's going to hide behind whatever they can. And if they're not going to come to you directly, then they don't deserve for you to give them attention on the situation at all. So don't take things personal. Because they that's what they want. They want you to think stuff is about you. They want you to think that they don't like you. They want you to think that they want to fight you. So that you can come to them, you can put your hands on them first. And then they can have a reason to hit you back. And then you get in trouble. No, no, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. If you going to fight me, if you got a problem with me, you going to come to me. Okay? So don't take things personal at all. Because like I said, it's really not that deep. We are grown. So we don't. We need to stop letting every little thing get get under our skin, cause it's not worth it at the end of the day. Our health is at stake when we let every little thing get under our skin and irritate us. That's messing with us. We can't do that. So one, don't take things personal, cause it's not worth it. Two, this kind of ties in with that, but don't allow your emotions to take over and get in the way. Like, um, don't let your emotions cloud your judgment. Pretty much. So, when we get involved and we get invested and we start, whether it's a friendship or a relationship, when they do things to make us mad, we get mad. Our skin gets hot, we get warm, we start shaking, we start crying. That's our emotions, right? And then, we're not thinking straight. We're not thinking rationally because we're mad at this point. And we're like, okay, but this is what we're doing? Mm Mm-hmm. I got you. I'm going to show you crazy. That's what we're doing. But no, we can't do that. Because when our emotions are at the front, we're going to do any and everything. We're not going to be thinking right. We're going to be doing crazy stuff. We're going to be throwing stuff at people. We're going to be hitting people with stuff. We're going to be doing all of this stuff. And then we're going to be looking extra crazy at the end of the day because we're acting out at this point. Pretty much. We're acting out at this point. But we can't do that. We got to, when we're mad about situations, we got to find a way to put our emotions to the side and be like, okay, let me think about this from a non-emotional standpoint. If my emotions wasn't involved, would I really be this mad? If my emotions wasn't involved, would I really be trying to fight them? If my emotions wasn't involved, would I really be posting all this stuff that I'm posting? No, you wouldn't. So, I know it's hard to to step back from your emotions in certain situations, but sometimes that's what's best because we don't want it. We don't want to be out here doing crazy stuff now and getting in trouble for doing all that. We we gotta we gotta maintain a good positive image. We are queens. We are kings. We are royalty, right? We can't be out here acting the fool, you know. Yes, it's act up season, but that's different than. Over here acting crazy, hitting people, cussing people out all the time. So, don't let them emotions. Don't allow your emotions to get the best of you. Because when your emotions take over, it's a whole different, a whole nother level pretty much. And we can't have that. So, another thing that's going to keep you from popping off and going off on people is to stay positive. Think positive about the situations. And I'm talking about staying positive mentally. Because if a person tries you or a person steals your man, 
if you think, okay, maybe this was supposed to happen. Like, say you was going up for a promotion and a girl you didn't like get it. She got the promotion that you and you didn't get it. And she's over here bragging on Twitter, all of this, all that. That's why I got the promotion and you didn't. You not as good as me, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let her think that. Whatever, fine. What you can think, okay, staying positive, maybe this promotion wasn't for me. Maybe something better is coming. You know what? Not maybe. Something better is coming for me that's for me, right? Something better is going to come. This might have been something that was going to hold you back. So her getting it is going to keep her out your way, right? And you about to be on the bigger and better thing, stepping up and doing all this and all of that. So you have to think positive about all situations, Yes, I know it's hard to think positive about negative situations and to keep a straight and to keep a positive face and to keep happiness running through your veins, running through your body, running through your mind when negative things are happening. But at the end of the day, like I said, not everything deserves a reaction. And if you're one of those people, everything and everybody gets a reaction out of you, you like this, 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 popping off, popping off, popping off, fight me, fight me, fight me. Uh uh. Mm mm. We don't, do, we can't do that. Now, I know we want to keep a good, we want to keep a reputation where people know not to try us. And we want people to know, look, I'm not the one. But you don't ever, like, no, like, it really don't matter. If a person going to try you, they're going to try you, right? So even if they know not to try you or not, they can still try to try you. But are they worth it at that point? When you losing your rep, you losing your good reputation, you out here, Getting getting in trouble. You out here doing all this and all that. They're not worth it. That's why you got to stay positive through all situations. Through all situations, let the person try you. They could try you. You might let them have it a little bit, but you just give them a little taste. Don't give them all of you going off. Don't don't give them all of it. They don't deserve all of it. Give them a little taste and let them know. Look, you 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 ain't got too many more times to be over here messing with me. You ain't got too many more times to be running your mouth, right? Positivity. We just want to stay positive. And that's why it's important to surround yourself with like-minded people. <laughs> surround yourself with people that's gonna tell you, look, she don't even she not even worth it. She don't deserve none of what you about to give her. She not even worth it. When you surround yourself with people that's going to talk you down from doing crazy things, that's going to talk you down and let you know that you're better than that, that's how you know you got good people in your life and that your people that you're surrounded with are real and loyal. Because a real friend is not going to have you out here looking crazy. It's not going to have you out here looking wild. A real family member is not going to have you out here doing stuff like that. They're going to be real and they're going to let you know, look, we don't act like that. We're not doing that. She don't even deserve it. Let the next one handle her, right? Watch you surround yourself with. Okay, next. Think things through. Period. Think things through. Think about the situation. How it started. How it unraveled. What's happening. Think about it because like when we not when we don't think is when we do do crazy things. Sorry, the dog is walking around. But when we don't think is when we do crazy things, right? We need to think. Think. Just think. That's why you need to take a moment to, like, remove yourself from the situation and just think, okay, what will happen if I, what will happen if I put my hands on this person? What will happen if I go to social media about this person? What will happen if I pull up on this person? You know, what will happen? You have to think. Thinking is crucial. So, man, I sit down. Thinking is real crucial. Like, just think about think about it all because <laughs> because when you, like I said, when you're not thinking, you're not you're doing any and everything. You you don't care what's happening at this point. And then once it's all said and done, you are gonna be thinking like you gonna be looking back and you are gonna be like, I did all of that. Like I know people block out. And I know a lot of people tend to black out in situations where violence is occurring and they're about to do some things. But then you come back and you're like, and people telling you what you did, like, I did all of that. Like, I really did. I said that. Yeah. That's why you got to think. <laughs> think before you act all, at all the time. Think before you act because you don't want to do something that's going to set you back when you would have came so far. When If you would have just thought about the situation and took a moment to, like, reflect, you'd be like, okay. It's not even worth it. Like, I'm all the way up here 
And they gonna put me all the way back down here. No, you need to stay up here. Mm -hmm. So next, it's important to breathe. Breathing is crucial, just like thinking is crucial. When you when you feel your blood boiling and you feel that you're about to just do something you don't want to do or that you know you shouldn't do, breathe. And then count to ten in your head or 30, or however many numbers it takes for you to be calm again. Wusa, Wusa. You know, count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know, take a moment, walk around, walk, go get a drink of water. Just make sure you're breathing and, and the counting is crucial. I know that when I used to get mad in elementary, in elementary school, in high school, I would count. I would count because if I'm ready to go off on you, I'm ready to go off on you. But if I'm like, okay, let me just breathe and take a moment, leave me alone for a little bit, I'm going to be okay. I'm not going to do nothing crazy. I'm not going to do nothing stupid. So, breathe and count. Remember, if you don't take nothing else from this video, remember to think, breathe, and count. Period. Simple. The next thing, another thing you can do is talk to someone you trust, um, aka vent. Um, a lot of people don't like to vent because they feel like, um, or people don't like people don't like to vent because they feel like. Usually, the person you've been to isn't really somebody that's really going to help you. People just be listening or don't even be listening half the time. People feel like when they've been, nobody's really listening to them. But me, personally, I like to be the person that people have been to. Because I give some real advice. Like, I'm going to be real with you. She got her leash. I'm going to be real with you and I'm going to be honest with you. And I'm going to keep it 100 because... I would want that same thing if somebody was coming to me about situations and being to me. So that's why it's important to have at least one person you know you can talk to that's going to give you some real advice. Savannah, sit down! That you know you can talk to that's going to give you some real advice. Yeah, that's why it's important because if you feel like you can't talk to nobody, then you letting all of that boil up. And you letting all of that be inside of you. And eventually, somebody going to say something wrong and that's going to be the last shot for you. And you're going to be ready to pop off. But we don't want to pop off. Whew. So that's why you need to be able to vent to somebody. Even if you just write. Even if you making. You tweet and stuff. But you're not actually tweeting it. You just sending it in your draft. Or you writing stuff in your notes. Because you don't really have nobody to talk to. That's better than just keeping it all inside. Um, because that's helping you just relieve some of that anger and that stress right there. That's why. So, if you don't have nobody to talk to that you can trust that you know is not going to run their mouth to the next person um, about how you're feeling or what you're telling them, then talk to yourself. Like, I'm not going to lie. I be talking to myself sometimes. Like, I be like, I be like, oh, no, she got me messed up. Or I be like, girl, don't even, don't even say it. Don't even do it. Like, yeah, I do. I talk to myself sometimes, especially when nobody's around and I don't got nobody to talk to. Yeah. I'm not saying I have full-blown out conversation with myself, but I might tell myself, girl, don't do that. You better than that. Like, sometimes you got to pep talk yourself, and you got to talk yourself up, because who, who, if you don't got you, who got you? Period. Right? Okay. So, man, find somebody to vent to. Next, don't let the person know you are bothered. Don't let the person know you're bothered. You better have a good poker face because if that person knows they're getting under your skin, they know that they're irritating you, they're going to keep pushing your buttons until you pop off on them because that's what they want. They want you to pop off on them. So they're going to keep on pushing, pushing, poking, poking, saying sneaky stuff, running their mouth, saying stuff out the side of their neck, coming at you crazy, coming at you reckless, doing stuff that they know is going to make you mad because they want you, they want to see that side of you. And, and I don't know why people like to see, like, when they see innocent people or innocent, nice people or people that really don't really show that side of them, they really be trying to get that person to show that side of them. They really be trying to get that person to go off. And it's like, can you just let me have my little moment of not being the type of person that go off on people? Why do you want to see me go there? What are you getting out of seeing me go there? Like, and people really don't even be getting nothing out of it. They just be like, oh, yeah, I know how to make you. I know how to push your buttons. I know how to get you there. 
and you're in that's exciting for you like come on now a person will never ever know that they got me feeling some type of way or they got me mad unless it's a dude that's a different situation though but a female will never know that she got me mad or she got me out of my element unless i tell her like look and I'm always mugging. Like, I'm a happy person, but I'm always mugging. I have, like, a real... I told y'all before I have RBF bad. So, you can think you got me on... I'm never going to tell you. Like, my fucking face is good. So, don't let, don't let them know. Don't let them see it. Don't show nothing to them. No type of emotion. Because if they know that they... they If they know they can push you there, they're going to push you there. Point blank. They're going to do it. That's just... Some, that's just the, it's evident that's what they're gonna do and the last thing on my list is think happy thoughts go to your happy place or do something for you and i say think happy thoughts because again when your mind is clear and you're and you're able to actually think before you before you do think before you act or react to a situation, you're able to just be like, okay, this is something that I really I don't need to do. It's unnecessary. It's not gonna do nothing for me, but make me feel good for the moment. And then afterwards, I'm feeling like crap. So think happy thoughts. Go to your happy place. If you need to take a walk, if you need to spend some money, if you need to eat in order to keep from hurting somebody, going off of somebody, or just yelling at somebody then do those things i feel like a lot of the times we we either will go off on the person we're mad at or we'll go off on somebody that didn't even do anything to us because they're around and and that's what we really need to think because the people that we go off on that don't do nothing they be like well i didn't even do nothing why are you mad at me and it's just like oh well you were right here you it was convenient for me to just <laughs> express my anger to you because you're here but that's what we need to think too and we need to breathe and we just need to remember that we're better than the actions we're thinking about right we don't have to be violent we don't have to be crazy we don't have to be cussing people out all the time we don't have to do that because that's not doing anything for us that's not doing nothing for you to to be cussing people out left and right, to be hitting people left and right, to be fighting out in the streets and be fighting on Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat. That's not doing nothing at all. That's not because at the end of the day, when you grow, when you are older and you reflecting back on your life, you're like, why was I doing that stupid stuff? Why was I out here doing this? I could have been doing so much more. I could have been doing acting so much better. But I let these people get the best of me and get these people let these people get me out of my element. And that's not even the type of person that I am. So you're gonna be match yourself. So if you do all these things, most of like important, you need to think. Think logically, think rationally, surround yourself with people that's gonna tell you that you don't need to be doing that, that that's not gonna help you. Count, breathe, and find your happy space, your happy place, you'll be okay. And those are my tips for and keeping from popping off on people, keeping your composure, keeping calm, because it's really important that we not out here acting a fool. Like, there's a good fool when there's a bad fool. We gonna act a good fool, but we not gonna act a bad fool. Like, we not about to be out here acting crazy. No. Like I said, I'm gonna have your back 100%, right? So, if you got to, if it's necessary, okay. But not every situation needs a reaction. So not every situation I'm going to get a reaction. Point blank period. Okay. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. As always, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below in the description box. I mean, in the description. In the comment section, I'll be sure to respond, like it, or something. you going to know that I saw it. Um... And if you have any video requests, then always leave those down below too. I take them with my DMs and my messages or in the description box. But I love y'all, my royal film. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.